Hey guys, this is George from Georgia Curtis on YouTube, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to de-interlace a video on um, Adobe After Effects CS3, the um, the easiest way I figured out how to do it. So, um, you start out by just, oh wait, well, you got to create a new composition, so, control N, and just name it, to, to. yep. I already have my settings. You need to adjust those if you haven't, like, if you've never done it before. Anyway, then import the file you want. I'm just going to import something random. This thing loads. Okay. Yep, yeah, alright. This is kind of ridiculous. There we go. Okay. Let's see. I can't find my screen recorder. Well, anyway. So just drag your file down to your composition. And then you got to make it fill the whole thing because for some reason mine never does when I put it in here but anyway yeah so just 150 all right now let's see move it to a blur point oh, crap hold on Now, as you'll see here, there are little lines, and it makes it, the video look pretty bad. So, yeah, that's that's what interlace video is. It just looks like doo-doo. So, go to uh, the effects and presets, and type in enter, like the beginning of interlace, and you'll find reduce interlace filter. Just drag that to the file you want to fix. Now, you'll see you have a softness, and it starts out at 0-0. Zero, zero. And just play with that a little bit. If you uh, put it high, it gets kind of blurry. And if you put it low, then it's still interlaced. So you got to kind of find the point that's best for your video. And mine is uh, 1.0 if this thing ever loads. There we go. And yeah. So yeah, this is the best point. Uh, for mine. So yeah, then you just render your video and you're good. So I uh, hope I helped you guys. If you have interlaced video and you can't figure out how to fix it. Anyway. Yeah, that's all I need to say. So uh, I got a new video coming up soon. So keep a lookout. Bye.